The overall goal of this procedure is to quantify the climbing ability of wild-type flies and flies mutant for the genes involved in locomotion. This is accomplished by first transferring the flies into a glass-graduated cylinder. The second step is to displace the flies to the bottom of the cylinder by lightly tapping the cylinder on foam padding. Next, flies crossing the target line are recorded using a video camera for a duration of two minutes. The final step is to analyze the videos and plot the number of flies above the target line every 10 seconds. Ultimately, the climbing assay is used to identify defects in climbing ability of mutant lines of fruit flies. The main advantage of this technique or existing techniques, such as the wild method, is that it has the ability to detect minor differences in climbing ability. This method can help answer key questions in the field of neurodegenerative disorders, such as the role of specific genes on hereditary spastic paraplegia on progressive gait impairment. The implication of this technique is tend toward the development of therapy for neurological disorders because it provides with a simple quantitative assay for testing drug response in mutants for candidate uh, neurodegenerative genes. Begin by anesthetizing 20 flies using carbon dioxide and place all the flies in a 25 mm by 95 mm collection vial that contains food. Then, store the vial containing the flies horizontally in a cardboard tray to avoid trapping them in any liquid that may accumulate in the bottom of the vial. Place the flies in an incubator for at least 21 hours under a 12-hour light-dark cycle. The following